Hi everyone, welcome back to Yokai Watch 4. Uh, currently, we're looking for Fumi-chan. I'm gonna follow the indicators on the map to go and talk to her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi, Fumi. Oh, look out, he's gonna get run over by that car. <laughs> oh, what's this? Could that be Fumi-chan? Hmm. Ah, oh, not in this kind of place. Ah, oh, Shinkun. What do you mean, not in this kind of place? This is in front of my house. Stupid Kato. Ah? <laughs> uh? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Ah, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> I think he's uh, being a bit flustered, as usual with Fumi-chan. <laughs> he really stuffed it up. But I'm happy that I got to meet you. Aww. <laughs> Kato says, that's really cute. The truth is, I was thinking about coming to meet with you. Huh? Really? There's something I wanted to tell you. Hmm? Something you want to tell me? Oh, could it be a confession of love? What should I do? <laughs> Come on, Kato. Jumping to conclusions. Seriously. Ah, uh, no surprise. Looks like she's inspirited. Look out! Behind you, Shin! Ah, <laughs> uh, what's up? <laughs> You're not interested in what I have to say? <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's not like that. No! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did something weird happen? Um, it looked like she was emitting spiritual energy just then. Oh, behind you, behind you! This is like a really bad joke. <laughs> oh, I see. You don't have time to listen to my boring stories. It's like that, is it? Ooh, no, it's not! It's totally not like that! Jeez, Kato is completely hopeless when it comes to Fumi-chan, isn't he? <laughs> ah, no! Spiritual energy is coming out of Fumi-chan again! <laughs> oh, let's look with the yokai watch. That will solve everything, Whisper says. Okay, um, she looks pretty normal, but I guess we should take Whisper's advice. <laughs> what is Whisper doing clipping through her there? <laughs> this is more entertaining than it should be. Let's use the Yoko watch. Huh? She disappeared. It was Mimikin. Oh, in Japanese he's called Monomanaki, which is like mannequin combined with monomane which means to mimic so pretty much the same as mimikin just in japanese it's a pretty good translation if you ask me ah <sighs> what a surprise <laughs> huh fumi-chan was a yokai no way <laughs> i'm so surprised ah uh, there's whispers bringing out the yokai pad this yokai is mono mannequin he is a yokai that takes the shape of humans. <laughs> oh, he's gonna run away! Look out! <laughs> Mono mannequin ran away! No! Shinkun, what should we do? Hmm. There's something I must do. Hmm? And what is that? <laughs> I have to find the real Fumi-chan. <laughs> I can't give up now. Hmm. Kato's being his usual lame himself. The return of the crossing lights. If you stuff that up and go across without pressing the button, I wonder what will happen. Oh, I'm going off the edge of the map. That's downtown Springdale over there. Looks like the train station. I wonder if we can go there later, because they haven't actually shown it in any of the trailers. I really hope so. 
Okay, let's go straight after Fumi. Looks like we may have found the real Fumi-chan. <laughs> By the way, Fumi-chan, um, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Uh, just going for a walk. I was doing my summer homework, but I felt like going outside. She's not only cute, she's also hardworking. <laughs> wow. Just laying on the praise. There's no way that this can't be the real Fumi-chan. Money? Um, that doesn't sound like Fumi-chan. <laughs> Did she just say money? Uh, how many times are we gonna go through the same joke? <laughs> Just like the anime repeating the same joke a million times. But it's okay, I guess this is just the tutorial. Alright, this time we will definitely find the real Fubu Chan, says Keita. Mm, not sure about that. Let's go. Find the real Fubu Chan. Time for more exploring. Okay, it wants me to go to the north this time. I got a French bread. Looks like the frame rate, frame rate is uh, chugging a bit around here, but I think we all knew that was going to happen with Yokai Watch 4, because in the gameplay they showed off before the game came out, it didn't look too hot. So I sort of expected to have a few performance issues. But really, it doesn't matter that much to me, especially if they patch it out. This is a... I'm playing this on day one, so they've got a lot of time to speed things up a bit and get that frame rate nice and crisp. Alright, is this actually Fumi-chan? Bets are that it's not. <laughs> ah, could that be Fumi-chan? What a coincidence, again. It's the same joke again. <laughs> Ah, uh, even Whisper is complaining that it's the same pattern. Ah, uh, this must be fate. Ah, <laughs> uh, here comes the strange spiritual energy again. What a surprise. It was Mono Mannequin. Eh, uh, again? This is the third time you've coincidentally found me. <laughs> Oh, this is starting to get to me. If it's gonna be like this, let's fight. Fair enough. I'm getting pretty mad as well. <laughs> can we finally get rid of Mannequin so we can actually do something interesting? I'm gonna give him the hammer. Actually, I wanna switch to Jiminy on this time. Oh, it's telling us how to do Yoki Suitoru, which is sort of like a uh, spirit suck? I'm gonna call it spirit suck. Spirit siphon? It's where you suck the spiritual energy out of the yokai. Okay, so it's used to replenish your YP by holding down ZR. Seems convenient. Uh, let's try it out. Alright, okay, I'm sucking out his YP. But mine's already full, so I don't really need to do it. Let's just beat him with the hammer. <laughs> pew 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 pew. Good riddance. I really do not want to see him again. Mono Mannequin, you've been mimicking Fumi-chan too much. Please stop. <laughs> okay, I understand. It's just that playing with you is so much fun. I wanted to keep doing it. I wanted to keep playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh no. This is getting creepy. She called him. <laughs> she, she? He called him his future darling? Or she called him her? This is getting really confusing. I don't like this. Okay, good. Finally dealt with. Did he say that? Fumi-chan is going to be my future wife? Hmm, where have I heard that before? Definitely not the Shadow Side anime. That's great! <laughs> you seriously think that's gonna happen? Be serious, mate. <laughs> this wasn't even the real Fumi-chan. 
Ah, uh, there's the real Fumi-chan. She has a huge arrow with a label that says real thing on it. <laughs> Poor Keita. She's just gonna leave him on his own. <laughs> oh, looks like there's some new news on the yokai pad. Ah, uh, what could this be? Hmm? <laughs> Do you mean telling him to shut up again? <laughs> <laughs> what exactly could the news be, he asks. <laughs> big scoop. There's a big commotion amongst the yokai at Mount Wildwood. Why could that be? Looks like there's some kind of treasure there. Mount Wildwood, Kata asks. Why would there be yokai collecting at Mount Wildwood? Hmm, I'm interested. Let's go straight to Mount Wildwood. Ah, looks like you're interested too, Shin. So, I'll give you this app. The Watch Skill app. If you use this, you can upgrade the power of your watch. Your watch will power up. Alright. So, before we do another yokai battle, let's do various preparation with the Watch Skill app. That app can power me up. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try using it now. Thanks, Whisper. Oh, he's actually being nice to Whisper. All right. Yokai watches watch skills. So from the Yokai pad, you can access the watch skill app and it has six different types of skills. Yo, you, I, shin, gi, type. They're called uh, spirit, uh, friendship, love, heart, uh, skill and body. So you can unlock them via these various trees. You guys might have seen these in the trailers for the game. Let's have a look at the actual app though. Okay, just doing Kata's skills for now. So like I said, we have the six options. I'll try and highlight them again. So this one is spirit, this one is body, this one is skill, this one is heart or soul, depending on how you look at it. This one is love and this one is friendship. So let's check out what kind of abilities you can unlock. Um, sadly, it looks like some of them are locked off, so I won't be able to tell you what they do. But first up, we have enhance the power of your Yorkie shots. Increase the damage done by your Yorkie, I, I'm pretty sure. And this one upgrades, again, the damage from your watch. Then we've got Stamina Up, so increase the limit of your stamina slightly. This one gives you a boost when you're in trouble. This one gives you a damage boost depending on how close you are to the enemy. So if you get right up in their faces and give them a whack, it does more damage as opposed to staying away and using uh, bullet type attacks. Uh, next up we have uh, increase your healing powers. I think this is debuff resistance. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to see because we haven't really done enough battles to find out. Uh, this one is increase the power of your Yorkie hammer, which we've seen already a few times. Uh, this one is some kind of weird drill move that you can unlock. Okay, well, I guess we'll see that once I unlock it. And this one is make your drill move stronger. I think this is debuff resistance whilst you are using the spirit suck move. This one is HP drain. So when you're doing um, spirit suck, you can get some HP back. This just increases the effectiveness of your spirit suck. And so does that one, and that one increases your effectiveness of your HP suck once you've unlocked it. All right, next page. This one unlocks some kind of beam? That, ah, oh, it's for erasing bad in spirits, I see. So it's like a purification beam. And then we have increase the power of your purification beam. 
Uh, here we have increased the power of some kind of healing. We've seen this healing yet, so we'll find out later. This one is increased everyone's on speed. It's all allies, not just uh, Keita. And this one is increase everyone's speed even more. Here we have... Um, I don't know what to call this. You might have noticed in a couple of battles there were moments where little thumbs up appear over people's heads. Uh, this increases the power of using the thumbs up move. Not sure what it does yet. We'll find out. Um, this one increases the spirit power of all your yokai. This one is for wisps. It increased the amount of wisps that appear. Uh, if you've played the other yokai watch games, you'll know what I'm talking about, but we haven't seen them yet in this game. And we're back to the beginning. So I was really hoping that in here, maybe we would get like a befriend up skill, but it doesn't look like that's the case yet. But nonetheless, it's really interesting. It's a cool addition to the game. Okay, I'm going to add one skill and I have decided on HP Drain. So you can see how many points it needs um, just there. I've got five points and it needs four points. So let's hold on down the A button and get it. Nice. So now I can drain HP by using the Spirit Suck move. Let's move on to Mount Wildwood. It's just up here. At least it should be if it's like the other games. I hope they haven't moved the entirety of Mount Wildwood somewhere else. <laughs> Quickly save. Nice, it already auto-saved. Let's go. Ah, good old Mount Wildwood. Or as it's called in Japan. Big Forest Mountain. Pretty much. <laughs> ah, it's Rough Raff and uh, Machismo. This guy's mad because he's heard the rumors of treasure. It looks like they're searching for the treasure. I can't find it at all. We have to find it before our rivals do. Quick. Ah, oh, it looks like the story that a lot of yokai are gathering is true. Ah, oh, that Ruff Raff just said something about treasure. What could be on this mountain? can feel something nearby. Could it be the treasure? Oh, he says, let's, um... <laughs> this random grandma just appeared. Um, excuse me, I'm in the middle of a treasure hunt. Anyway, Whisper said, let's have a look around with the yokai watch, which sounds like a sensible idea. I guess it's in this green area around the map. Uh, anything here? Oh, you can move around at the same time as using a watch. Man, that is cool. It feels real. There has to be something here. <gasps> there we go. Who is it? Oh, it's Haidabat. In Japanese, he's called uh, Hikikomori. He's a cutie. One of my favorite yokai as well. Hiki. Hydabat of the Shady Tribe. What's he doing outside? He can't stand being outside. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just been a long time since I came outside and... Ooh, he collapsed from the heat. There's a whole bunch of scary yokai around here and I'm really bad with the heat, so... <laughs> If you're usually inside, then how come you've come here today? Whisper asks. Looks like he's also heard the rumor of the treasure. Oh, he says that the Yokai Gacha at Mount Wildwood, aka the Krankakai in the English releases, has been upgraded. Huh? The Krankakai? Yep. Uh, if you get a big win on the Krankakai, it looks like you can get some super rare products from it. That's the rumor. Super rare? Hydebat says that there's so many rivals that he gave up. 
<laughs> Why did you give up so quickly if you can get something super rare, Whisper asks. Exactly what Whisper said. Quick, let's go and look for it. Alright, we're gonna go together. Yay! Friends with Hydabat. I don't want to bog you guys down in the menus too much, but since I'm translating it into English, I guess it's pretty helpful to just see what's going on in the menus. Um, so, here's Jibunyan, here's Hydabat. If you press A, uh, you can look at various things. So, first up we have, I think, Switch. Um, then we have change equipment, so I can probably make Jib and Yan super strong right now. Yeah, I'm gonna give him these. He's gonna become unstoppable. Might be too strong, I might have to take them off. And you can also change their moves by the looks of it, so we might unlock some more moves later. <coughs> uh, the next option here is set as starter, so We've got starter members and we've got backup members. And if you want them to appear at the start of battle, you use this option. So he has become a starter member. Nice. Next up, we have remove and then we have change name. I'm not gonna change anyone's names yet. And finally, this grayed out option is reset name. So pretty simple. Uh, y also lets you move your guy around and X lets you look at the rest of the details. This looks really good. It looks like uh, some of the bamboo is gone though. Can we go over here? No. It's limited to just the areas from the original games. Hi cat. Pick up some more shinies. Um, that was a salad chicken, all right. Don't know what a salad chicken is, but must be a Japanese thing. All right. The Krankakai is over here. Let's see what's going on. Looks like there's a really long line here. What's going on, Sandman? Uh, we've got something we'd like to ask you. Uh, what's up with this line? Uh, we're trying to get what seems to be a new yokai watch. What? A new yokai watch? But nobody has managed to get the yokai watch from the Krankakai yet. That means it's still in there. Maybe we can get it. Ah, oh, that's awful. We have to get it before our rivals do. What are we gonna do? Quickly, we have to get through this queue. <laughs> There's uh, Jin Man Ken, aka Manjimut, screaming in the background. I don't like Manjimut. I hope he goes away quickly. Looks like they're uh, having a physical argument. Look at all the yokai knocked out around here. <laughs> Buck is gonna put uh, Manjimut to sleep. They're really determined to get rid of their rivals so they can get the new yokai watch. You want us to put you to sleep as well? <laughs> uh oh, looks like it's battle time. We've got three members in the party now. Keida, Jibinyan, and Hydabat. So, it will become more epic, I guess. Let's go. Oh! Oh yes, finally! We can swap and play as a yokai. I've been looking forward to this a lot. So up and down on the D-pad lets you change to Yokai. And also, you can swap between targets by pressing in the right stick. Oh, sorry, pressing in the right stick allows you to lock onto a target and uh, pressing left and right on the D-pad allows you to switch between targets. Very cool. And pressing the left stick also allows you to target allies. All right, let's do it. Oh, yes, I'm Jibinyan. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for years. I just, I've been looking forward to this game for so long. <laughs> ah, I'm nerding out here. Oh, that was too short. I want to play Jibinyan again. It feels good. There's um, HD rumble on the controller there. Feels really nice. 
Oh, come on, I want to have another fight, please. That was too short. Oh, it's probably because I equipped Jibin Yarn with too much equipment. I should uh, take that off or I'll be destroying everyone in two seconds. Baku. Why did it have to come to this? I'm gonna have a bad dream. <laughs> Looks like we've dealt with them. Maybe we'll get our turn on the Karankakai now. Please, take this. Another Yokai medal. Yay, Baku joins the team. Baku has become your friend. I'm not going to name him either. No thank you. Very nice, we're going to become stronger by using this sword. Thanks Baku. Alright, now that we settled that argument, uh, we have to line up at the back of the line again. <sighs> Guess we just have to wait our turn. Looks like we've ended up at the end of the line again. Let's try and get through it as fast as we can. One hundred years later. Oh, we're almost there! That was a really long queue. Been waiting for so long, Kata says. Oh! Looks like our turn to spin the gacha has finally come, says Whisper. I hope we get something good. Gotta love the Krankakai. <laughs> so, if we get a big win, we're gonna get a new Yokai Watch Nyan, says Jibinyan. Yeah, leave it to me. Let's spin the Krankakai with A. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be. You can find out what was in the Krankakai in the next episode. I decided to split this episode into two because it was getting a bit long. I know the Mimikin section is a little bit boring, but in the next episode we have Shadow Side Yokai. And trust me, that is anything but boring. So look forward to that. If you're not subscribed already, um, chuck a subscribe on the channel and you can see the next video as soon as it's out and see all those lovely Shadow Side Yokai. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, consider leaving a like. And also, let me know what you think about the game in the comments. Who's your favorite yokai so far?